Hey everyone, we're back! My name is Scarlet Tanager and I am playing some Call of Cthulhu! Like head. old subject. Severe hypothermia. Oh, that's bad. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Ooh. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. Uh, so he has a, a, a bad thing His inside him. His skin Got it. shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. Obviously. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. That's so, Doctor, weird. An opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. Fuck Dr. Fuller. <laughs> Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Some bullshit. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. <laughs> no. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. Medicine, look dude. look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Chest burster! <laughs> this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry. That the edema would go away by itself. It's not an edema! You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. Obviously. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. Ugh. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. But he's a grown man. <laughs> Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. Well, first we need to operate on his stomach. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. So he's still dehydrated he despite me, but an IV. When we bathed him earlier. He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. He's a fish man! <laughs> He's a fish man! I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. Not exactly! <laughs> no. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. He's turning into a fish man! And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? Mm -hmm. I pray that it's not here. Mm -hmm. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? Just looking at him. What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us yeah, calm dude. down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your Shut up, Fuller. <laughs> I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Mm -hmm. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? This guy, my dude! <laughs> These are alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe Yes! That? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even think this man has a strong chance of completely healing from his ailments. No, Doctor. This patient isn't himself anymore. He's dying. Really? What do you mean? He has something in his stomach. Isn't he has sick? rings on his fingers. He's changing. His physical characteristics, they are more animal than human. By animal, you mean fish. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. Asshole. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. 
It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. Innocent worries? For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be. See, he brought up cephalopod. Rings on the fingers. Cthulhu. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Fuck you. <laughs> God, I hate asshole like male that? doctors. What did he mean? They're just like, oh, I obviously know more than the woman. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his Oh, crimes? there definitely is. <laughs> oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. Mm -hmm. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? In his office. What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Yeah, please don't tell anyone. Of course, Doctor. <laughs> you can count on me. I'll keep Mum. Sure you will. New objective. We have to get into Fuller's office. This is gonna end well. Do I have any... Oh wait, can I even use my... My points? Yeah, I can't because I'm not... I'm not Pierce right now. Okay. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. What? And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan? Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> what? And the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. Watch out for the water, Doctor. Oh, sorry. She lets herself be trodden on. Oh, well. At least we won't have to clean for a while. Medicine! Just didn't do anything because I'm time the not cut Pierce. <laughs> it's a real show. It's a kitchen. Okay, I can sneak. Doctor Fuller's office. Well, I wouldn't know. Is that Bradley? Bradley. How you doing, Ethan? Marie, I. What are you doing? You okay? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? Medication? Tell me your symptoms. I have headaches. And I can't sleep. Do you suffer from insomnia? No. Look, I don't want you to laugh at me. Ethan, if you don't trust me, then who? <laughs> I have Stroke nightmares. Stroke the beard. I keep awake every night. It's because you got killed. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. You got stabbed. Actually, the chesty. you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. Probably. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Mm -hmm. Do you think it might be... Related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will find out. Or the fact that you died. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you Oh, work. poor Bradley. <laughs> Take care, Ethan. I kind of feel sorry too, for him. Marie. I'm not entirely sure if Bradley's evil yet. Because, like, the fact that he died and he's back and he's like, Oh, I don't remember anything, but... With little scenes like that, it makes me think that whatever they did to him that brought him back, he legitimately doesn't remember. Boiler room. Pharmacy. Hi. We're running out of this medicine. Hi. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused Rude. it. Rude once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. Right. Stupid people being stupid. We've been waiting to be restocked. Oh, Jesus! Oh, and the person who's like, yeah, you're not allowed to get restocked. Go fuck the yourself. The prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Mm-hmm. 
on purpose because he's an asshole. Men's bathroom. Hospital. Security unit authorized personnel. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Is that where he escaped? Where I escaped from? He says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. Excuse you. And I'm the one who pays. Elizabeth, you all right? Why is this room in such a state? How you doing, honey? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Poor girl. Come now. Don't let that witch sap your morale. We're lacking in qualified personnel, and she knows it. Her petty punishments won't last forever. I'm trying, Doctor. I'm trying. It's just that sometimes I imagine she shuts down the water herself just for the pleasure of harassing me. People don't quit jobs. They, they quit shitty bosses. Kind of petty games. <laughs> anyway, I've learned my lesson. I'll hold my tongue next time. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, poor girl. Event, good to know. Is there anything in here? No, nothing important. Okay, bye bye. Is it okay? Administration is in here. No one can see me. I am hidden. That looks like that might be his office. Hmm. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to oh, do. Oh, shit. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have No way in hell she lets me in there. <laughs> no way in hell she lets me in there. I'm on to you, game. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. Damn it! Okay. So I need to do the something. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. So I need to do something to distract her, I assume. Hmm. Because I bet you anything. Wait a minute. Yep. Where do you think you're going? Yep. Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes I knew to it. Dr. Fuller's office. She's gonna have to Request distract assured, her. I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. God, she's such an asshole. Uh oh. I got a game saved with that shit. <laughs> distract Donovan. Off the so I can cut off the water to distract Donovan. But I don't want to screw with what's her name. Because Elizabeth seems like good people. She's a witch. Poor girl. I didn't make this up. But that would cause her to go talk to Donovan. Hmm. Everybody says it. She's a witch. An old hag. I didn't make this up. Okay, lady. Poor girl. What a pest. Poor it's girl. So <laughs> Alright, I guess I gotta go find some water or something. <laughs> Hello. Just gonna run around the hospital. Ooh, fire. Doctor, I like fire. Please. Fire. My chest. Oh, oh, you're probably dead. Or dying. Seems legit. Lots of people. Lots of pills. Key! Ooh! Oh, the key to- Oh, okay, I can use the key, the to, the key to the boiler room. room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Oh, tits. I guess I do have to shut off the water, don't I? Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Don't do that! Like... Don't fucking do that! It's <laughs> a bad idea. Okay, where was the boiler room? I saw it. There it is. Okay. Nothing else in here? Cool. Mm. Mm. A 
don't you give me this- I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Don't you give me this weak woman shit. Fuck off, game. Okay, where would I find a tool? Probably in a storage room of some sort. I wouldn't be in there, because we've already been in there. Okay... No... Oh, hey! Oh, wait! There's a janitor there before, and that stopped you from going in there early. Got it. I got you, game. Oh, now she can turn it. Was it just stuck? I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Poor girl. This is fine. I guess I should remember where those things are if I have to come through here later as peers. I'll have to go back to Elizabeth. You okay? I'm sorry. It's temperamental. If I understand correctly. I'm sorry. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? Don't worry about it! <laughs> I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. I'm sorry! It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Poor girl. God, I feel bad. <laughs> but I didn't know if there was actually another way to distract her or not. There probably was, knowing this game. You okay? I'm sorry. Oh shit, she's sorry. over there. I'm busy. Elizabeth, isn't it? Okay, bye! The missing files must be hidden here. No. Something is wrong with these masks. Wait, what? It's some sort of puzzle. Oh god damn it. Okay. So I can rotate them? Do I have to get them to go forward? That's always my first assumption with this sort of thing. I've only oh, hey! <laughs> patient files. <laughs> I, I assume right. because that's the way it would have to go to go forward. Wait, that's the Scylla. Oh shit. Oh, Sarah Hawkins interview. What? the fuck? No. Oh god, a high door. Crap. Conclusions. Session number 17. Patient? That's Sarah creepy. <laughs> Wait, Sarah Hawkins is his patient? Is to have finally accepted the illusory <gasps> nature of what she calls the mythos. The Cthulhu mythos. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. So he learned about the Cthulhu mythos through Hawkins, then, I assume. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? Because he's a creeper. At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. Um, what? Pardon? Nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. Okay. Oh. Durr. Medicine! The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Mm -hmm. Then James came. I read that Charles was keeping secrets from him. Who's this guy? I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. You killed him. Murder. Probably. I don't even know if Hawkins, killed him. Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection? Oh, Fitzroy's the, the ship captain, isn't he? That I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I 
will dispose of her belongings. You experimented on her, didn't you? Jerk. I do not like this guy. He must remain hidden in plain sight. Hidden in plain sight. That's important. I'm going to need to find her stuff. Whoa. I can face through the body. <laughs> Okay, what do I need to do here? Get in and in planes. Oh, hey! Of course. Her shoe? Sarah Hawkins is the connection. Why does he have her burn shoe? Did he burn her? Fuller's gonna be in here the second I, I come go out back of this. To the basement. Can't go that way. I'm gonna open that door and he's gonna be right there. Bet you anything. I should go another way. I don't want to go out that door. Bad idea. I shouldn't have closed that door. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Go down into the psychiatric wing. That's gonna end well. Where the fuck is that again? Oh, it's not oh, hey! Bradley's gone. Wait, Bradley's gone. Where did my fiancé go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Eh, who's your fiancé? Where did my fiancé <laughs> go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Uh, okay, I just been a giant. Sp oh, I know it's right here. Durr. I assume. Yep, here we go. Is she even cleared to go down here? Oh, great! Of course, the saint this looks like shit. Wait a minute. It's a fucking like viewing room. Why is there a gurney in there? Oh, I know it's an elevator. Duh. Oh great, I'm going to hell. I'm going to double hell. <laughs> Wonderful. This is gonna end well. Hi. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. Hi. It's time to show you what you were so eager <gasps> You fucker! <laughs> we need to go save Marie! If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. God, Edward Pierce is a badass. Around. Slowly. Oh, hey, it's the dude. Talk, filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. Uh... Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No, he's not. No. He was no, he's here not. <laughs> for a very specific item. Oh. No. The book. This is fine. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? Uh. Oh. Fuck you, Gabe. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the start, shall we? Sure. Whose life did the Necronomicon choose Necronomicon. to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. Okay. You might need my help. Okay. Sure. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Okay. Now go. Rescue the doctor. I make no promises. Thank you, Drake. <laughs> I wanted another chance to read that creepy Cthulhu book. But oh well. This is gonna end well. This can only end well. G 
achievement unlocked, caught in the trap. Great. It's a tarp. Also, wouldn't the rest of the hospital be like, where's our other doctor? <laughs> we only have two. Because <laughs> it's depressingly easy, especially back in this time period, to disappear somebody. But I would like to think it's a little bit harder to disappear somebody who's, like, a well-respected doctor. <laughs> Especially when there's somebody who is, uh, like, one of only two doctors in an entire hospital because it's going through a bunch of pandemic shit. I would hope. Pierce must save her before it's too late. She's pr it's probably too late. She's probably mutated. <laughs> probably dead. Most likely dead. I'm going with dead. Alright, time to be sneaky. Just leave the front door unlocked after hours. <laughs> I pray that Colden is really here, and alive. Oh, I broke in through the window! Okay! What? Diary of a past diary. Okay. Hmm. Where's my light? There we go. The Scylla is here. Like in the vision. Colden came this way. Obviously. Okay, is there anything else in here? Sneaky sneaky. Sneaky sneaks. It's another one. I said yes to one. I said no to the other one. I'm rolling it. Okay. Even... I read the book. Odd. I don't read the book. That is cock dice. That's an even number. That's 16. <laughs> Guess I'm reading the book. Jesus. Okay. I mean, I probably had to read all of them, I assume. Oh, that's how you do that. Okay. I've been wondering how you- because I kept hearing things about this game about intensifying the lantern light. What the- Fuller, too. Nobody can sleep. Okay. The fact that there's a hidey boy right here. Little- little worrying. Wait, what? Am I just locked? In? Did I try the store? Right. Oh, okay, I did. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. I wanted to see him about something. Best thing. You know how he hates me. Okay. <gasps> you don't see me. Don't see me. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, fuck me! No. Oh, no. Uh, oh. My God, what, what is happening to me? What the fuck? <laughs> uh. What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. What the hell? Game, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. You got a creepy symbol. Um... 
I'm gonna pretend I know what the fuck's going on. And by that I mean I'm not gonna pretend at all because I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Oh, um. Oh wait, I can't change the oil. I can't change to using the... Yeah, I can't even de-equip it. What the fuck? Okay. Bathroom. Oh, hey, thing. <laughs> oh, that refills my oil, apparently. Okay. So, do I have to find the right doorway? Or... Oh, I've been playing for 30 minutes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're gonna end it here, you guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Call of Cthulhu. I'll see you all in the next video.